คลื่นยังจะตัวบานให้จังสมอยโลกมันต่อสมรู้เตี้ยเต้า Thank you Judge Levin สมอคนลูกเจ้ากรมเลยเว้ยมาพิมานจุมเรียบรุ่ยมาให้ลูกเทียน After the vision, 170 deputy platoon chief Yim Sambat was arrested. He admitted to his involvement in the incident. And Yim Sambat explained in E3/7397 that his network included members of key Vietnam collaborator Chang Chakrai's vision 170, among others. And he also spoke of how the grenade incident was the latest in a series of activities dating back to 1968, which intended to, quote, quote, fight the revolution. For the record, uh, we also requested an investigation into evidence from the factors that could have shed light on Chan Chakrai's treasonous activities. However, also this request was refused by the Chamber, and uh, again we request the Chamber to reconsider that decision. Mr. President, as we detail in our brief, the evidence shows that the autonomous sector 106 secretary sought work together with key Vietnam collaborator and central committee member Khoi Thun to orchestrate the Simri bomb explosion. And among other things, Khoi Thun in his S21 statement explained that he had educated Sots, who he called, quote, a very active agent of the CIA, In other words, that is CPK language for traitor. And the evidence also clearly established, establishes that Chan Chakrai was behind the Phnom Penh bombing. Of course, um, in their brief, the co-prosecutors claimed that the two incidents were unrelated, that, quote, the paranoia was further deepening, unquote, and ultimately it led to a senseless wave of purges with, quote, purge targets expanding exponentially, unquote. However, there is compelling evidence of a link between the two events, apart from their timing. That, of course, is Chan Chakrai's connection to Khoitoon. Chan Chakrai had originally been a member of Khoi Thun's North Zone, and Khoi Thun was in fact the one who introduced him to the CPK. And Khoi Thun identified him as a core member of his fellow collaborators with Vietnam. Moreover, portraying his defense as a mere product of quote-unquote paranoia is incredibly disingenuous, Mr. President. Let's be clear, the situation that the CPK was facing was one in which several of its top leaders had been implicated in dramatically destabilizing internal events just a year after the CPK had CPK had liberated But even so, the CPK acted in a restrained way. A way which reflects what my colleague Liv Sovana will describe later today as the CPK's legitimate defense and security policy. Khoi Thun was put under house arrest in April under relaxed conditions. He was only formally arrested in February 1977, one year after the Siem Reap explosion. And in a testament to his power, Khoi Thun's power and threat to the CPK, his arrest required two days and one night, and a great number of special forces to achieve. And the CPK also likewise showed constraints in the case of Chan Chakrai. They had long suspected his loyalties, even debating them at length in an October 1975 standing committee meeting. However, 
the members of the standing committee decided then to simply continue to wait and see only arresting Chan Chakrai after evidence came to light of his involvement in the bombing. Arrests that followed were not senseless but followed the same spirit of caution of arresting and detaining people suspected of treason. And yet, of course, it's logical to discuss this because, after all, they had been brothers in arms for many years. And it is from this perspective, and let me finish, Mr. President, the failure of the internal collaborators to match it first will be done again. From this perspective, you should consider the critical events that occurred after this, which I will um, detail uh, after the outbreak. Thank you very much. ไอ้กอบឲ្យอันเรียมที่คงแข้งน้องคลวนโลกเคียงสมพรตลอดการประทุบโรงจําข้างกรอมสหสหรัฐอเมริกานี่นําบอกอ้อยน้อมคลวน